we need the skin, but you don't go so deep because it's gonna get paet. So just get the surfaces. Also now. just the skin. Yeah, skin. Okay. okay, this is a recipe which you can do on your own at night. Just have the bread, just have olives. I always have olives. So let's go three. Okay. okay, and then I just press the hey, button. I'm scared of blenders. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to make a very easy recipe. Something that you could just like eat when you're hungry. Something very simple. I'm working today with Doña Elena Extra Virgin Oil because you've always been seeing me use the pomas and the pure olive oil but this time we are going to think of ways where we can use this for salads, for sandwiches, or even dips. Now when it comes to dips, sandwiches, and simple recipes, there is only one person I have in mind. And she finally agreed to join me today. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's for today's vlog, somebody's going to be helping me. Hello everyone. It's Claudia from Retto. Okay, so I know you're really starving. Yes. And we're going to be working on extra virgin oil and how we can okay. it. So today we are going to make black olive pate. Okay, Leon is shooting my vlog today. So this is our Dominion extra virgin oil. And look at the beauty of yes. these peppers. Thank you so much. Okay, so this was gifted to me. So I want to make good use of it. But that's for the for another recipe. I'm just making it this day. I have to name it exactly the same. So Claudia, this is so simple, okay? When I'm really hungry and you don't want to eat, you eat all this. It's satisfying. That's it? Mm -hmm. Okay, black olive pate. What do we need? Black olives. Pitted. So this is about one cup. And then we need, of course, a rustic bread. So that's a rye bread. You can use any kind of bread you like. Pero mas yung, this is focaccia, we're gonna use it. We can use any of the two. But we're gonna make it into a pate. So I think it's this one. Okay, I also have one tablespoon of butter. I have breadcrumbs, two teaspoons of breadcrumbs. And then I have parsley, the flat clay parsley. And then we have, of course, our usual salt, pepper, and chevre and anti olive oil. Gana lang ka simple, Chloe. What we're going to use are supposedly you can either finely chop it or you can use a food processor. But this is a blender. Let's hope it works. Okay. I also forgot to say we need lemon zest. Okay, so, so you, do you grate it like that. Yeah, but don't go. Yeah, we need the skin, but you don't go so deep because it's gonna get paet. So just get the surfaces. Also, now. just the skin. Yeah, skin. Okay, okay let's see. Okay, and then I'm going to. What do you want to use for this? This is pate, so yeah, that's it. We need that crunchy. Yeah, we'll toast it. Okay, so while you're doing the zest, we also need some two teaspoons of lemon juice. Okay, Erich is also super duper excited to eat the bread. Yeah, you okay, can have one, but it's soft. Gutom na gutom ang bata. She's actually full, so she is. Yeah, you just said she just wants to eat. She just wants bread. Okay, so why do we use extra virgin oil? Where is the use for Doña and then the extra virgin oil for? Sandwiches, dips, and salads. It's your healthier way to make your salad dressings and your dips more flavorful. Of course, all its health benefits that you all know already. Yeah. Now, you gotta be a little bit more. Look, I'm scared. Oh no, but don't make it so mapaet. Get the, oh, I got the good part. Okay. Okay, like that. I gotta be more white. Yeah, and but don't go so deep. So just cover all the, the areas that. Yeah, I've been doing just this. Oh, you can do it. I'm getting scared. No, don't be scared. Cooking is fun. Don't be intimidated. That's the lesson for everybody. Okay, while she's doing that, it's so simple. We are just stalling because they're so, they're so, so simple. Okay, at least two, two teaspoons of that, babe. 
Oh, okay, so I should go fast. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> okay, guys, so tell me, tell us what you've been busy with. I've been going to the studio making new songs. Really? When I, I just recently graduated college, so I'm still currently unemployed. <laughs> she keeps saying that, Mom, I'm jobless, but she just graduated. <laughs> so I'm like, I know. Okay, you have till January, girl. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Find a job, January. I got this. So okay, that's it. I mean, I've been doing, you've been in school all of your life. Yes. Almost all of your I've just life. been hanging out with my friends. Yeah. With the newly graduated students. Mm -hmm. And making music. We're gonna find a job. What kind of job do you like? Guys, who, what do you want for Goya? Psychology. I want you to be my guidance counselor. Law. <laughs> guidance counselor? Yeah, be my guidance counselor. Law. That's my dream. That's your dream. That's, That's my dream. dream. Okay, this is a recipe which you can do on your own at night. Just have the bread, just have olives. I always have olives. Okay. Okay, you know what? To be honest, I was searching for stuff like that. What to do, what no ganyan ganyan. And ito ang uh, napanood ko. So, they said food, food processor, correct me, but wala akong food processor. Pwede na ito. Processor. Okay, yeah, it's processor. Oh, this is one cup of olives, pitted olives. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Freshly grated would be better. I'm gonna put some rock salt. You better like this, you guys. <laughs> this is the first time I'm trying it. I'm Very really fancy. trying to learn. Very fancy. It's not fancy, babe. So let me Fancy? Fancy, fancy. I'm gonna put some cherry on it. You better. Oh, it's oh, This is so good. This is pate. We're gonna put the one tablespoon of butter. We're gonna put our lemon juice. Okay. And then let's put the zest. Is that okay? Oh, it is. We're gonna put lemon zest. Parang one tablespoon of butter. That's why I should have done it. This takes longer than the whole recipe. Yes, I should have done that before. It's okay. So I'm so excited with my only roll. <laughs> your only roll is the lemon zest. Let's put some Marcy, the flat lay. Do your job well, guys. You can do two recipes for them. This, this is so simple. Yeah, one is just a tomato. You like that, the tomato tomato. Yeah. Tomato. Mm -hmm. And olive oil. Yeah. Ooh! Don't forget our Doña Dena extra virgin oil. So, talagang this mag two tablespoons. What's the setting for the blend? Ah, okay, we want it creamy, so you know that? Um, I hope. So let's go three. Okay, and then I just press the hey, button. I'm scared of blenders. <laughs> Wait, I'm scared of blenders for myself. I'm oh! <laughs> Yeah. You'll eat it like that, right? Yeah. So what if we just mix it more up? Okay. Here. And while you do that, I'm going to heat some bread. I'm gonna put some olive oil just here. One more. Maybe I'll mix no not that. Like like a wooden spoon or something. Wooden spoon. Okay, I'm gonna coat this with olive oil. This also with olive oil. Yeah. Para may marks, diba? Do you want to put some cheese? Yeah, I do want like some parmesan. Okay, it's already hot. I'm gonna try, huh? Crush it. Maybe, yeah, maybe like this, babe. Pero masarap na yung may may oil. Yeah, I know that's why. Let me. I wanna just. Can crush I taste it? it? That was, I think you can chop it too. Better consistency. Oh wow. Yeah. Words, please. Words! It's like it's Wait, okay, she was like, they get Parmesan cheese. Perfection. Yeah, I told you have cheese. I'm going to put more bread. We have sarapa. I have a question. Why can't you use a toaster also? Ah, you can you can use a toaster, but almost more sarap to I like it like this. Yeah, I like it like that. Yeah, yeah. it makes me sarap. Yes, it's it's so nice. And Everyone should make it with a grill more. Like 
so so domesticated. So domesticated. Look at me. Look at me. Should I put it like this? I'm <laughs> wow! Super yeah, awesome. Oh, wow. awesome. Yeah. Okay, since my blender didn't work, if you have a food processor, use your food processor. But you can also finally chop it and do it like this. And you're just thinking it might taste good if you put a little bit of Parmesan. So, to your own liking, please. Let's add this to this side. Okay, if I add that, I don't know how to do it. Okay. There we go. Hey, master shot. Oops. <laughs> Good, honestly. There we go. I'll just put the salt. And life is great. Yeah. yeah. And then there's holy drink. And pour some olive oil on top. I like it burn. Ooh. This is very satisfying. Come on. Salam. And she doesn't eat olives, but it's good. Oh. So you can put more cheese if you want it, right? Yeah. It's oh. so good. Mm. <laughs> With cheese on top, it's so good. And more? Okay, then, pa rin hindi siya naging pate. No, I like it. Mmm! Bread. Everything that's in your pantry, you can use so for good. this, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it's also up to you if you want to put garlic. Actually, you know, honestly, this is to your own liking. Mas masarap lang talaga siya na. Okay, so I'm gonna do another way because we are, this is the testing kitchen today. It's a Sunday and the other kids are not here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to try out new recipes for them. So this time I'm going to try using the focaccia bread. So I love it that we have a neighbor who makes really good. So still we're going to use the garlic. You're supposed to rub it but a friend of mine gave me this garlic na you can make it soft na. So let's say I really love garlic, you know that, right? So and then I'm gonna put it both sides na. Bahala na. It's supposed to be really large plum tomatoes, but come on. We don't have that here. So we're just gonna squeeze it out. The seeds. Okay, we have the wrong knife. This is the kitchenette. This is not a kitchen. Just testing, testing. Hold on, my extra virgin oil, my gun, and then I'm gonna do this. Okay, because that's how I do it all the time. I want a toasted kind of bread. Roughly chop. Put the bread here. Actually, it should be peeled, but never mind. Let's just do it this way. You can peel, remove the seeds, remove the juice, whatever. All right, that's all. Let me talk about our Doña Elena olive extra virgin oil, good for dips, salads, sandwiches, and also because it enhances the flavor. It's got vitamins A, K, and E, and it's just something that we do here at home. We use olive oil all the time. Okay, look at that. See, it's a little bit of a part. Right, I'm gonna take this. Put a little bit of oil. I'm using sea salt. And then, this is the finishing touch. Now this will bring out all the beautiful flavors. There, this is me. There we go. Masarap to with flowy red wine. Mm -hmm. Right? This, and then you can make chorizos on the side, sausages on the side. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yum. Yeah. The tomatoes because they're so sweet. Eat it, Annabelle. Yum. Mm. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang pang diet pa de. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kasi kamati sa naman. Sarap. Sarap. See? Okay. This is the crushed tomato with the garlic and the cheese. Mmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Better? Mm-hmm. Set up, right? Not my stuff. Yeah. Mm. More cheese, look how messy now, right? Cheese it up. What's the playground? Sandwich playground. Yeah, we're playing around with... 
Ah! Mm. Huh? So open with the garlic. Talaga. Oh my gosh, okay, so we did two different ways where we can make our sandwich or quick meals for the kids. So thank you once again, Claudia, Leon, for taking the video, Claudia for joining me in today's vlog, and Donya Lena Extra Virgin Oil for being a part of my everyday. So thank you guys and see you again next week. Bye!